In the tutorial series so far, we have learned how to configure a Falcon Pipe layer to connect to the show network and also have a specific IP address. We are able to play shows and everything, have playlists, schedules, etc. In this video, what we are going to learn is how to add another Falcon Pipe layer to the mix so that we can play videos in sync. Now, in case you have any questions about the network configuration tutorial, please watch the part two in the series for detailed network configuration. Now, when it comes to setting up the second Raspberry Pi, the steps we follow are exactly the same that we have done throughout this tutorial series. There's only a few settings that need to differ. First one being the IP address. In this case, I'm setting an IP address 101 as opposed to the previous one, I had the IP address 100. It's important that the IP address be different. Second, in the host and DNS settings, the first one I had named it as FPP master. In this case, I'm just gonna name it FPP left. You can give it any name that is easy to relate to. That's pretty much it. Apart from that, under FPP settings, I'm gonna change this player mode from player to remote. Now, when you look at the home screen settings, you'll see there's no longer controls to play any videos or playlist. The control looks completely different. That's because it's a remote. You can't directly play anything here. It's always just listening to the master Falcon Pi player. That's literally it in terms of setting up a remote player. Now there's one setting that needs to be done on the master. That's you go into the system settings and enable send multi-sync packets. Now this is what enables the other remote devices to be in sync. So that's the one key setting that needs to be done on the master and kind of conveys to the system who the master is. Send multi-sync packets. That's what you need to enable. Hey, a quick note, when you're configuring both these Falcon Pi players, since they're on the same network and have different IP address that we already know, so you don't really have to like go in and out of connections. You can just have both the controls open in separate tabs and you can configure them simultaneously. That does make things easier. Whenever you play any videos on the master, the exact same video file name is gonna be played on all of the remote players. The key word here is the file names. The file names have to be same. The content can be different. For example, let's say I have some Mickey Mouse show. On my laptop, to keep things organized, I would have the files named as Mickey Mouse front, Mickey Mouse left. But after I transfer the files to the Falcon Pi player, I name both the files to just plain old Mickey Mouse so that the file names are same. So whenever the master is playing that, the remote will play that too. And that's all you need to do for the remote player. You just need to have the video files with the same file names, that's it. You don't need to create any playlists or schedules, anything of that sort. All of that must be controlled from the master. Anything that the master plays is just replicated by the remote. And here's a playlist. I have a timer file in here so that our sync can be observed more easily. You can see my live setup right here. I have the master and the left both connected to the two monitors. Now the one key aspect you need to keep in mind is the first video file that is played is not really synced. This is an observation I just made and it must be a software bug of sorts probably which could get refined in the future. But for now, there's a very easy workaround. First and foremost, you can just add a blank video file which is just a black screen for a couple of seconds and that should be good. No one would notice that the master played it. And then following that, all of the video files would be in sync. In my case, I'm just playing a countdown timer as the show's about to start on my garage door and I don't need to play that on the entire house so I don't really care if the entire thing is synced. So I just use the introduction video on the master and that doesn't really have to sync. So that's pretty much it. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you're doing this at a later time and the bug is fixed, but if not, this is an easy workaround that pretty much everyone does. So there you go. As you can see us progress through the playlist, the timer is exactly in sync right down to the very second. You can see that as I switch shows, you can see the content is different, but the show is the same. There you have it. In this tutorial series, we've covered a lot when it comes to a Falcon Pi player. We've covered the basic setup, creating playlists, network configuration, creating schedules, having multiple players running sync. And that should be good for pretty much any setup. Now, if you're interested in further enhancing your setup to automate things even further, find the link to my course down below. It covers entire projection mapping setup in further technical detail. It also has a tutorial wherein I go over turning on and off your projector in automated fashion in accordance with the schedule. Not only the main projector, but also other projectors or TVs on the network. 
I have exact scripts available for download wherein it makes the setup a breeze. So if that's something of interest, feel free to check out the link below. Regardless, hoping this tutorial series helped, please like and subscribe, more tutorials to come. Thank you.